Hello everybody and welcome back to our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke Challenge. So last time we did a little bit of a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back battle with um, some bikers on Route 16 and we beat Sabrina. Um, today we are going to try to beat the rest of those bikers, get to Koga, get to Fuchsia City, and um, hopefully we'll do it unscathed. But for now... Um, the next battle is Biker Ruben, and I have kind of crafted a little bit of a team to get by this guy. So the plan is, he's going to lead with an Excel War. We're just going to immediately take it out with Arcanine's um, Excel Rock. We have Belt for the Excadrill with an Air Balloon. Um, we have... Alakazam, which I'm hoping to take out the Lop Bunny with. Um, this has Fake Out, so it's probably just going to go straight for that, so we can just switch in Alakazam, no prob. And um, if that goes poorly, we also have Jellicent, who can switch into the Fake Out, who can switch into um, some of its other moves. However, it does have Scrappy, which allows it to Ghost Types, but I think I think we'll be fine. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Um, so yeah, as far as the Gigalith goes, we have Fetus with um, Flash Cannon, we have Spoons with Energy Ball. It does have an Assault Vest, but I think we'll be okay. We also have Titan, who's probably going to be the answer to that, with Heavy Slam, High Horsepower, and Return. Um, honestly, actually for Gigalith, I think the answer was Jellicent. I made <laughs> Yeah, I made this team for the Biker the other day, but I think... Yeah, I think for Gigalith, Jellicent was the answer there. And then Roserade, uh, Snorlax was the answer there with Chesto. Um, if you use a Sleep Powder, we're fine. Yeah, we have Thick Fat, so like Hidden Power Fire is not a problem. Weather Ball is not really a problem. And then it's got Giga Drain, so uh, we're, we're alright. Um, so that's the plan. I'm hoping things just kind of go smoothly. Um, I'm sure they won't. They never do. But... I, uh, I really hope we don't have issues here. So, good boy comes out. And uh, we have the added benefit of just not taking sandstorm damage, so that's cool. This should always kill. And it does, good. I'll probably see the Excadrill. I kinda hope so. Roserade, interesting. That's a really interesting choice, actually. I'm really tempted just to go for Flare Blitz. Sleep better. Unlucky. I kind of want to try again for the Flare Blitz, because we're in the sand, so we have a much higher special defense than normal. Weather Ball. Alright. Oh, we wake up. We actually get the Flare Blitz. Oh my goodness. Alright, that makes this a lot easier. So, we don't have to worry about the Roserade anymore. We do have Rockhead, so we don't take Recoil, that's awesome. We see the Excadrill come out. And, um, so we're expecting an Earthquake here, so we're gonna go into Belt with the Air Balloon. It has Intimidate. Um, I'm really hoping it goes through that Earthquake, and not an Iron Head or something. Oh no. Alright, so the air balloon was just a waste. I think I can go for Drain Punch. It's definitely gonna be Earthquake this turn. Must a Sword Stance? Okay, that's terrifying. Uh, drain Punch might put us up at full health though, so we might be okay. Oh wow, we actually almost just take it out. 
I wish we had Sucker Punch on Belt. That would make Belt so much better, but we can't get Sucker Punch yet. Earthquake. Alright, so after Intimidate, I think we live. And we do. Alright, good, good, good. So Belt is actually a pretty good check for Excadero. That's nice. Alright, so far so good. Let's see the Gigalith. Um, the doc said there was a Megalopony, and as you can see, there wasn't one. So that's really weird, but I'm not upset about it. Oh, we're just gonna scald. Oh wow, okay. I guess I gotta switch out. Hmm. Alright, um, we'll go... Fetus or Titan? I guess... Whew. I guess Titan, because it says Assault Vest. Oh, Giggle has body press. It's probably going to go for that. Maybe I do go fetus. Where I predict the body press goes spoons. And an energy ball. That's kind of crazy. If, if so. I think I can do that though. Yeah, let's let's do that. Got grass, good. Nice. And then we can trace the uh, sand force ability. I don't know what the doc says. It says a lopany. Sand force. The energy ball should be enough. Nice! Alright, Biker Ruben. We almost lost Jellison, honestly, but we got through. Alright, so the next guy is Biker Cue Ball Cameron. And uh, he's gonna lead with a Swampert with leftovers. Um, I don't think we have a grass type. We have, we have energy ball on Alakazam, but the problem is I don't think we have, um, I don't think we really have other grass moves. And this is, I guess, Sassy Swamper, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to lead with Belt. Because this is Stealth Rock and Yawn, so we can lead with Belt. We can outspeed him and go for the taunts. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take its air balloon away. That didn't even work. That's really too bad. I was hoping that would be a nice little gimmicky thing. That's yeah, fine. So, hmm. I guess we can just give you like a citrus berry. And then there's an Aerodactyl, a Scizor, a Garchomp, and a Cacturn. I know I just took a berry from it, but Franklin looks really good here. We'll, uh, we'll switch good boy for Franklin for now. Yeah, because Franklin will get its defense sky high. Um, we'll switch it into the Scizor, probably. There's a Garchomp that it is a little so afraid of, but our defenses are nuts. There's a Cacturn. 
um, same thing. We kind of just destroy Cactor and destroy Scizor. And Aerodactyl, I mean... Like I said, its defenses are just through the roof. If we can set up, like, an iron defense, I will put leftovers on this guy. I think we'll be alright. Get some burns. I think that's the play. Um, I really think that Franklin's gonna do a lot here. But let's not just rely on Franklin entirely. Let's, uh... Let's see what else we should bring. Um... Does this get Ice Shard? I think this actually gets Iron Fist, which would be really cool. But this might be a good switch into the Garchomp. I shard it does, nice. Cool. Alright, uh, let's relearn. Mod Punch might be good. Yeah, if it gets Iron Fist, Mark Punch is really nice. Let's, um, let's make it adamant. Pretty sure it had Iron Fist before. I'm looking for the ability pill. Iron Fist, you ever done that? Alright, cool. So, what item should you have? I guess we'll put a Citrus Berry on you, so it can survive the Garchomp a little bit better and the Scale Shots and stuff. Alright. So we got you there. Interesting. Alright, um... I don't know if we should bring Spoons. Probably not, because Cacturn destroys it. Uh, Scizor honestly kind of destroys it. Maybe take Spoons out. And then, let's see. We got Lax, Dart Knitter, and Fetus. I guess Fetus probably shouldn't come for the same reasons. I'm not sure about Lax. What are we worried about? So we have, I mean, we got the Garchomp covered, we got the Scizor covered, the Cacturn. I guess the Aerodactyl, and maybe the Swampert. Dual Wing Beat, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and U-Turn as Rockhead for some reason. Um, maybe Lantern? No. It's got Earthquake. Maybe, I think we would bring Jellicent, and we bring Azumarill, because Azumarill is good for the like, Garchomp too, and this can like Aqua Jet the, uh, the Aerodactyl. Alright, so I think that's the move. Um, we'll just give these guys some berries. We'll take that. Give it to you. And, um... 
be able to take that. Do this to Jocelyn. All right, so that's the plan. Let's get going then. I hope the doc is actually right this time, but uh, our lead is Belt. So let's see, I mean, maybe there won't be a Mega Scizor, because there was no Mega Lopini, but... This guy's got four Pokemon, the doc says there's five, so that already makes this way easier. It's kind of weird that it's doing this. Alright, wait, wait, we're gonna taunt. Alright, no yawn, no stealth rocks. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we are going to... Should we crunch? We should probably crunch. Oh, it stayed in. That's gonna flip turn, probably. No, Earthquake. Alright. That's fine. Oops, leftovers? What? Oh, that's what the doc says. Alright, never mind. That's not a surprise. Drain Punch. I think we're just gonna keep using Drain Punch. We have a berry too, so I mean... This is fine. We really only need belt for the swamp herb. Alright, that's actually a pretty good range, because we can take it out with the drain punch. We just got our berry. So we have a little bit of health back. I'm actually kind of glad it recovered leftovers there. But we stopped the Stealth Rocks, we stopped the Elon, so that's really great. Scizor. Alright, so... I think we just always go into Franklin here. We'll definitely see it mega evolve. Um, I'd be surprised. I just hope it doesn't go for U-turn. It might though. Rock smash. We didn't level Franklin up to the cap. Unbelievable. What am I doing? But I think with what's left, we always below. I really should level the Franklin. I hope I didn't throw Aerodactyl, Will it was. Alright, well. I guess I just go Pika Blue. I don't want to leave Franklin in anymore because I didn't level it up to the cap because I'm a dummy. U turn. Weird. Slife Orb. It's pretty good with the burn. Sandstorm. Oh, this has Bullet Punch, so we should probably switch. I really wish I leveled up Franklin. That was such a bad mistake. Alright. 
Hmm, so I'm not sure what this wants to do, but I think I go Jellicent. I just hope it doesn't U-turn. Okay. This is annoying. Scizor. Uh, I think... Oh, it has a knockoff. Alright, if it didn't have a knockoff, I'd go for just Willow. Well, let's, uh, let's try this. We're going to go Belt. On the knockoff. We don't even have an item. We'll get Intimidate. It's a U-turn. What? Why? Alright. Aerodactyl? I don't even know what's going on anymore. So I'm hoping... I mean, it would make sense for this to be Dual Wing Beat, but it could be really anything, it seems. We're gonna try Jellicent. U-turn. This is really annoying. The good news is Aerodactyl is taking life warp damage every time, but the bad news is... This is super annoying. Alright, so I want to protect the knockoff, but I really don't know if that's even going to happen. What if I just Willow? I should have scalded. Because Aerodactyl is going to come out probably, right? Cacturn. Okay, Willow was probably better then. Alright. Well, it's kind of great, actually. This is burnt. Probably gonna see Swords Dance. Um, this is Sand Rush, so it's gonna be really fast. Uh, let's see. Can you do anything to it? Mm, that's probably a bad idea. I wanna go Franklin, but I don't wanna go Franklin. I could go Belt first, just to see what it wants to do. So it might just go for the knockoff. Sword Dance, okay. Spooky. Alright, so it'd be weird if it didn't go for the needle arm. I might have to go Franklin. I really wish I leveled that guy up. Um. You know, let's go crab. That did a lot of damage for being burnt. Way too much. Alright, we lose our citrus berry, but honestly, I think this would kill it. Nice. Sandstorm. I can't believe I didn't level up Dartinator. Scizor. This will be Bullet Punch for sure. Um, who wants to eat that? I guess Franklin. Because if it's just this in the guard jump, like, there's no reason not to go for Franklin. Valiant Shield. Nice. Rock Smash, alright. I don't know why. I guess we below. On the chance of the switch. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's Aerodactyl, not Garchomp. Why? This team sheet is messing me up. That's crazy, so there's no guard chomp at all. Uh, I think I gotta go Pika Blue. Pika Blue is useless for Scizor, so I mean. If we just take out the Aerodactyl with it, that's okay.
I think I'm gonna go for Aqua Tail over Aqua Jet just in case of a switch. And uh, it's burnt, so it's not gonna take me out. Alright, so that's actually probably really good. This should be good damage. Nice. That's pretty good. So this is where it has U-turn, bullet punch, rock smash, and knockoff. Um, it's probably gonna go for bullet punch. I think we are neutral to bullet punch. I kind of want to go for another Aqua Jet, or not Aqua Jet, Aqua Tail. Like I kind of really badly want to do that. I think, yeah, I think I will. U-turn. All right. I'm glad we did. Yeah, I don't think we've even seen it use Bullet Punch. It's just been using U-Turn. Alright. Oh, well now I'm a lot more afraid of Bullet Punch. I guess we need to go for Aqua Tail though. U-Turn, that's fine. That won't kill me. Aqua Tail. Okay, and then I think we just Aqua Jet. If it has the bullet punch, we're kind of in trouble. Can't really go Titans as Rock Smash. I think we have to try. And we do go first. Huge. Can we take it out? Nice. Let's go pick up blue. Alright, Cue Ball Cameron. Uh, definitely had its hiccups, but... Nice. I really need this dog to be accurate, though. Because we're kind of, we're planning our team for what the doc says, and we're using up valuable slots that, like, we could have had something else in to help us out with. Um, something like the Scizor. Uh, you know what I'm going to do before I do anything, though? I'm going to level up. I'm going to level up Franklin immediately. That was, that was very much of my mistake. That made things really scary. We probably should have lost Monzer because of that. Really glad we didn't. So the next person is with the Stunfisk. I don't even know how accurate this dog is anymore though. Like I I really can't I really can't just like assume this is right anymore. But they're really with the Stunfisk with the Focus Sash. It's got Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave, Earth Power, Volt Switch. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead with Scrafty again. Yeah, it's defense and special defense are exactly the same. But uh, we're gonna just use um, Taunt. Then maybe try Ice Punch. Or Drain Punch, depending on how much damage it takes. as a Focus Ash, so either way. Um, it's also Calm Nature, so I mean, that's fine. I think we'll have speed. Then, the scary thing is the Dracovish. If it even has a Dracovish. Um... <laughs> That has Ficious Ren, Dragon Claw, Psychic Fan Crunch. I think we bring just Azu for this. Because we don't care about the Ficious Ren too much, because we're a water type. We don't care about the Dragon Claw. I think that's fine. Uh, there's a. There's supposed to be a Mega Beedrill. Which I think we just bring Franklin. Oh, no, it's a Drill Run, maybe not. Let's see if there's a better answer for Mega Beedrill in our box. Maybe... maybe Arcanine. Well, let's, uh... yeah, because, I mean, we could just... Excel Rock. And there's also a Rotom Heat that Arcanine is pretty good against. I might calc that. Just to make sure that we're not dying to a drill run. Arcanine. Level 68. 
You are adamant. You are holding the hardstone. I think it'll be fine. It's a mega beedrill. It's frail. I don't know though. Beedrill. Mega beedrill. Um, 64. All right. Let's see. That should do. Yeah, that should take it out. Like easy. So yeah, that's definitely the play for Mega Beedrill. And then. Just out of curiosity, how much does this do to Rotom? It's a Rotom Heat. And it's level 64 also. It does between 62 and 73%, so not quite enough. Can we survive a Hidden Power Grass? Probably will because we're fire type and we're also in the sand. Oh yeah, it does nothing. Alright. Yeah, a good boy's coming. For sure. That's just a really good pick all around for this team. Um Dracovish. We got some answers too. B drill. Dracovish is sand rush, by the way. So maybe we bring crab in a bowl. And we uh we can ice shard it or something. If need be. Then the last thing is it says there's a Greninja. Um I think maybe we just bring we bring Lax. Instead of uh I guess Shellicent. Yeah, and then, I mean, Franklin's good for the Rotom Heat, too. So, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, we'll do this. I think I want to, if we're going to put Franklin up against Rotom Heat, I think I want to change his moves a little bit. Oh, we're going to give it Dragon Pulse. Just because, I mean, it wouldn't be able to hit it with Flamethrower or Scorching Sands for much damage. Um... I think we want Willow just in case we need it, so we're gonna get rid of that for now. Alright, let's see. Are we good with items? Um, citrus Berry, Citrus Berry, Hardstone, Leftovers. Yeah, that's good. Alright. I think we're ready. Hopefully this one's not too crazy. And I think after this guy, I don't know if we gotta battle any more of these bikers. Stunfisk. Really a belt. Oh, I didn't see how many Pokemon he had, but the, the doc says he has five. Alright, taunt. I hope it's stuff that I can thunder with. Good. I suppose since we're faster, we'll go for the Ice Punch or the Drain Punch. Alright, that does less damage than I would have thought. But, I mean, it's not doing much to me in return, so that's fine. We're gonna go for the Drain Punch now. Get our health back. Okay, good. And that's within range of another one, so that's perfect. Uh, we're just quite not popping her berry. Oh, we missed a drain punch? Is that even possible? Oh, uh, sand veil. That's so stupid. What are the odds? I mean, I guess pretty high because sand veil, but we gotta. Now we really need to land a drain punch. Good. That was a little lucky, I guess. But, uh, yeah, Belt's been doing pretty good. Stopping South Rocks and stuff. Dracovish. Alright, so. It's 
probably Fish's friend. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I guess we go Peekaboo. Alright, that's doable. Um, I think we just go for the play rough. And it doesn't switch out, which is great. Alright, we are berry. Does this just knock it out? I hope so. Beautiful. Alright, big threat gone. How many more Pokemon does this guy have? And I wonder what's missing. Alright, he's got three, so it, it will have the Beedrill, the Greninja, and the Rotomite, so I'm glad we planned accordingly. Alright. U turn, drill run, poison jab, pursuit. It's probably. I'm expecting U turn, honestly. I guess we'll go good boy here. It's not gonna go for drill run. Yeah, poison jab. Alright, that's okay. We get poisoned, but honestly, I guess that's fine. Because, I mean, Rotom Heat dies to two Excel Rocks. And then I don't think Greninja really wants to take one either because it's just frail. So, alright, that should always kill. Nice. Alright, we're gonna take some poison damage, but I mean, we really just need a good boy for the B drill. What's. Alright, well, this is gonna have sturdy Endeavor nonsense, so I guess we'll go Franklin. This was not on the dock. It's probably going for the Endeavor. Yikes. Am I dead? Oh my god, I am. What the hell? Alright. This is bad. This wasn't on the dock. Oh no, we're we're in trouble. Because of the sandstorm, we're kind of and and good boys poisoned. Good boys like the only thing that could have got us through this because we don't take sand damage with good boy. But I think that's it's the only thing we don't take damage from sand with. Oh, we are boned. Man, yeah, this isn't on the dock. It says it's a Rotom Heat and a Greninja, not a level 1 Aeron. I'm so confused. Yeah, we didn't prepare for this. I guess we try to mock punch. I mean, if we sack Carbominable, I guess it's okay, right? Like, Let's go for some mock punches and then sturdy endeavor. Oh, I forgot about citrus berry. I think that actually just saved us. It's got shell though. I I hate you. This is so bad. Good news, it's not a full health, but Carbominable is definitely dead. That's insane. I didn't even... I didn't even know this was here. See, how we prepared for this? Like, piece of cake. But the doc was just telling me that there was nothing. Alright. Well, the good news is we didn't wipe, I guess, but we lost Franklin. And we lost our 
Crab abominable. Your ninja. You turn Hydro Pump, Gunk Shot, Ice Beam. Should be its moves. We're gonna go Titan. Probably on a Gunk Shot. That's okay. Oh, and it misses. Even better. Alright, we kinda needed some luck there. Let's go for a turn. That should be fine. Alright, so no Rotom Heat. Just that scary Aeron. And no, I really hope this takes it out. I kind of need it to. Oh god, why? Alright, um... Do you have something that'll have a gunk shot? I guess Belt can intimidate. Shot will do less damage now. Do me if everyone just died of sand. Oh, life orb, even better. All right, that guy was scary. Um, well, he wasn't that bad actually, but the the Aeron just wasn't on our dock, so we lost we lost Pokemon to that. There's so much we could have done for that too. I mean, we have Magic Guard Alakazam. Right, which would have just gotten rid of the sand damage, but, I mean, it would have just healed up a shell bell, so I guess we couldn't use that. We could have just went for, like, a ghost. Because, I mean... Can't use Endeavor on a ghost type. I think that would have been the easiest way around it. Yeah, really, I mean, that's all we needed to do. Could have just brought, could have brought Bone Zone. Just swapped it into the A run. Really unfortunate. Anyway, I think that's the last of the bikers. So that's cool. Um, at least Route 16. See, so yeah, I think we're good. At least, like, the hard ones. Are out of the way, so let's bring. I don't even know who to bring anymore. These four are pretty solid. I think it turns into a rain route, though, so maybe we don't bring Arcanine. Yeah, Perma Rain. Alright, that's the next thing. Route 18, Permanent Rain. So, I mean, you're probably no good. The good news is we can bring our boy Husk back. Um, yeah, definitely. Let's level him up. So the battle I'm preparing for, at least with the Magnezone, that's using explosion and stuff, so Husk will be pretty good. Alright, and then, um, so yeah, we'll do Husk into that. I do kind of want to... I think Husk kind of needs, um, a Shadow Sneak. It's just, I think it was a lot better with it. We are a Shadow Claw, so we have Swords Dance, right? So we don't need the power. And then we got, there's a Bisharp on this team with Defiant, so that's scary. There's a Whiskash, a Salamence, and a Starmie. Um, Husk handles Starmie pretty well. Husk handles Magnezone. It doesn't handle Whiskash, but it kind of forces it into bounce, so like it kind of handles it because we can like make it go for bounce. If that made sense. Um, it's got water bubbles, so that Pokemon's scary as heck. Uh, let's see. How do we want to handle that? I 
think maybe we do Parasect with a... Uh, with a, uh, Koba Berry. Actually, I don't know if that would even sort of save it, because it's got Dragon Dance and stuff. Maybe not. Um, what other option do we have? You might be good for the Bisharp, Mancho. It's got Focus Sash, so yeah, I think that's kind of perfect. Because we can just go into you, we could fake out, break the Sash, and then go into like a high jump kick. Alright, and then, let's see. The Whiskas and the Salamence are a problem right now. Yeah, so let's, um, let's figure this out. Um, I'm just gonna give you that back. Wishcash Salamence. We did just lose our Ice Shard user, that's unfortunate. Um, I mean, we have Boat, the Lapras, who's a dragon type in this game. So honestly, he handles the Wishcash pretty well. And Salamence is Dragon Pulse, but I think we can. I think we can figure it out, right? Salamence is Yachi, but I mean, we could just Ice Beam, Ice Shard, do some Wish stuff. Um, it's more for Whiskash. It's got Water Bubble, so those Water Moves would hurt, but we have Water Absorb. Hydro Pump, Ice Beam. I think, yeah, I think this is kind of how we're going to do it. We'll use Lapras. Alright. Yeah, that's just gonna have to be how it be. Alright, uh, we'll use some rare candies on good old Mancho. That's left first, what am I doing? Reversal? No. I think we give the leftovers to boat instead of that never melt ice. And we move on our way. So, um, I think we actually do get a little bit of an uh, encounter or something on Route 17, so that's cool. Um, let's actually look at the encounter table. So I don't really know what we want here. I didn't think we'd get this far. Alright, I'm on the dock, let me just pull Route 17. So it looks like, right away I'm thinking the nighttime encounters, because the nighttime encounters we can get Galar Weezing and Alolan Muck instead of regular Weezing and regular Muck. Both gives us the option for Torkoal, which would be incredible. Both give us the option for Aldino. Yeah, I think we want night. Alright, that was easy. Time changer. Cool. So we beat all these guys. I'm just gonna kinda coast down this way. Uh, we're gonna try to not battle them. Alright, let's uh, let's go in the grass. Oh wait, we gotta turn off our repel. Oh, it was already off. Cool. Let's see what we got. Alright, the wheezing. That's pretty cool. Neutralizing gas, that's a good ability. Oof. Oof. I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, hmm. I guess boat. We can play it with a nice shard without killing it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think this is actually a really nice encounter because it's Poison Fairy. And then on top of that, we have the option to switch between Neutralizing Gas and um, uh, Self Destruct. No! Alright, never mind, we don't get it. That would have been cool. And then just to rub it in, there's the Torkoal. So Torkoal is good because of Drought, but yeah, Weezing would have been good too because of. Uh, oh my god. Alright, I guess we have to battle this guy. Huh, nope. Yeah, Weezing would have just been nice. Um, because Levitate, Ground Immunity, and then also Neutralizing Gas just gets rid of all the abilities on the field, so like that would have been cool too. Unlucky. Just unlucky. But anyway, uh, we're gonna carry on. What's going on? Oh. This must be Biker William. This is Route 18. Alright, good. Biker William. That's exactly what we planned for. Me and Chow in the Magnet Zone. Um, we need Ghost Shit Ninja here, but I'm gonna use a fake out first. I wanna go for a U turn, but this does have Cuss Tap Fairy. Actually, that won't trigger until it's a uh, full U turn. Tiniest bit of chip, but it all helps. We're gonna go into Husk. We'll switch. Eat poop. Alright, so... I think... It kinda has to go into Salamence Whiskash or Bisharp here. I really want to go for the Willow. The only thing that's stopping me is that Whiskash has Water Bubble, so it can't get burnt. But I think we need to risk it. Um, in case it's not Whiskash. Unfortunate. Alright. Cash Splash. That is not Water Bubble. That sounds scarier. Um, so... This has to go for Bounce. So I guess we go Boat. Or it goes Dragon Dance. That's unfortunate. Uh, no. This is bad. Um... I mean, it's not too bad yet, but it's starting to become very bad. Dragon Dance are now it's getting really bad. Hydro Pump. Alright, that does quite a lot, so that's good. Do I Ice Shard? You know what? Let's do it. I think at least two of these will take it out. Come on. Oh, no! Those have one health and an earthquake, so this will probably kill me. Please, 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 please. Oh, that's way better than I thought. Leftovers health, awesome. I shard. Alright, good. No more whiskash. I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking we might what. So, just not being dead at all is beautiful. Two Dragon Dances on that with Cash Splash. I assume that's like Bone Zone. It's like a signature ability. That's crazy. Alright, Starmie's out. We can always just Husk. It can't even hit Husk. And then we definitely can Will-O-Wisp now because we don't have to worry about Whisk Ash. Salamence. Oh, this is all special moves. Except for Earthquake. And of course we miss. Alright, well this has to go for Hurricane. Right, it doesn't have a setup move. <laughs> yeah, no it doesn't, okay. Um, I'm inclined to go Snorlax. Just because I want to save Lapras' health a little bit. Maybe get some chip damage, hit this with an Ice Shard. It's got the Archie Berry. Alright, 
That did nothing. Let's go for a return. Earthquake shouldn't do too much. It's actually quite a bit. We should hit back pretty hard with this though. Yeah, that, that's good. That's really good damage. Alright, now I think we can go in the boat. Earthquake. Takes us from 191 to 123, so that's fine. I think we actually survived the special hits a little better. Then we go for Ice Shard. See the Achi, that's alright. Not enough. Oh, Dragon Pulse. Oh, shoot, we're Dragon type. I thought we were Ice type. Oh my goodness. That's hard to adjust for. <laughs> we're alright, though. We're fine. Barely fine, but we're fine. We just Ice Shard to take this out. Oh no. <laughs> I thought we were Water Ice. But we're Water Dragon, because it's Radical Red. That's one of the changes in this game that I'm not sure I necessarily agree with. I think they could have made just the Mega Evolution Water Dragon, and that would have been a little more doable. Right. Husk on Starmie always. Alright, so here's the deal, right? We're going to see the Bisharp come out. I'm wondering if I Willow, or if I just go straight in the belt. Let's go straight in the belt. So let's do that. This comes out. Unfortunate that we switch first. Actually, wait, no. Oh, Magnezone's still alive? Is there no Bisharp? Was the dock wrong? Time out. Sorry. Just hoping for explosion. Maybe the dock was wrong. I guess we'll go Leech Life. Yeah, it's only Magnezone Army. Alright, so no Bisharp at all. That's the only reason we brought Belt. Alright, the Storm is gone. And, I mean, it might take us a while to knock out this Magnezone, but it might also go for Explosion, so... Maybe not. Explosion. Yeah, nice. Biker William. Got pooped on. Alright, so we can deal with Demon Club. Can we just get there now? I think we're good. What are the Route 18 encounters looking like? Let's see, um... The day ones are kind of good. The night ones are honestly also very good. Probably better. What's the fishing look like? Uh, 18. Is this still 18? 17. Yeah, 18. Alright, um... Interesting that that's not on the dock. I guess I don't think it is. Yeah, I guess we just can't fish here, according to the according to the dock. I mean, probably wouldn't want to anyway, but it's just weird. All right, well, yeah, I guess we won't worry about it then, because I mean the grass encounters are good. Um. I mean, there's a chance we get Dracovish, which would be insane. It's 1%, but I mean... There's a chance. Let's go up here. I don't know what's going on. The Denny from our Pico? Yeah, that's... Alright, that's not cool. Alright, can we just... Ah, oh, they fence this off. Alright. What's this guy have? Is he a, like a mini boss? Oh, we just beat the Whiskash guy. 
Uh, this is definitely Bird Keeper Jacob. Whoa, why is this... Alright, why is the dogs? This guy's got seven Pokemon. That doesn't even make sense. Ooh, okay, um... Let's see, so he's gonna leave the Cramorant with a Focus Sash. Surf, Hurricane, Ice Beam, Roost. I wonder if we can just get Boat. Do we have Thunderbolt? I think we do. Forgive me for not knowing what number Thunderbolt is. Thunderbolt, good, okay. Maybe we'll get Bolt. Boat. Thunderboat. I keep saying Thunderboat. Maybe we'll get real wish, I guess. For Thunderbolt. And the idea here, I guess, is Thunderbolt Ice Shard. I will break break Sash with Thunderbolt, and then we'll just Ice Shard for the kill. And then, let's see. So that's Cramorant. That should be easy. Sidui. You turn Hurricane Spirit Shackle Leaf Blade. I mean, maybe we just Ice Beam that? We're Dragon type, so like Leaf Blade's not gonna hurt as much. I guess we could. Uh, or we could just go Titans. Titans, I mean to Ghost. Let's Titan up Crunch. No. But I think we'd need it. Just in case. We'll crunch. Instead of high horsepower, I guess. Alright. Um, so there's a Basque Legion. We might need to go back. Yeah, I think I think we gotta run back to uh We we need to just plan for this a little bit more. Alright, come on. It's hard to go uphill cycling around. a double battle or are these just really close together oh wait I see all right it doesn't have seven Pokemon there's just two trainers here and the doc just condensed it into like one little box this guy's five Pokemon which is like the number you can actually have so that makes sense Still is the Decidui though, still is the Cramorant and the Basque Legion. Last Pokemon are Porygon 2 and Nidoqueen. Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. Um, so I think we bring Lapras anyway. I mean, Hydro Bump in the rain is nuts, Ice Beam's nuts, Thunderbolt's nuts. I think this just needs to come. Especially for Cramorant. Uh, Decidui, right, it's got that U turn, Hurricane, Spirit, Shackle, Leaf Blade. Um, I think we can just kind of go for... I 
maybe Ice Beam on uh, Boat. I mean, that's a good backup, I guess, right? Uh, Hurricane's kind of scary. Honestly, good boys, not bad. It's just, it's hard to bring it in the rain and feel good about it. No, it's got a hurricane, I can bring it across. Yeah, I guess... I guess we bring... I guess we can bring Good Boy. I don't really know how to switch out. Decidueye. So I mean, we can take Hurricanes all day long, and then we just hit it with a Flare Blitz. Um. Yeah, so I guess we'll... I guess we'll give it Charcoal instead of the Hard Zone. Um, I wish we had Choice Band. Well, there it is. Give to good boy. It's raining, but I mean, it's flare blitz. Alright, so then there's the Basque Legion. There's Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Flip Turn, Shadow Ball. So, Boat takes care of most of it. Honestly, I think we make Boat um, especially defensive rather than physically defensive. We go Sassy. Boat looks kind of sassy. Um, it has a weakness policy, which is scary. But Boat is water absorb. Ice Beam and Shadow Ball. It's a Basque Legion. Uh, let's see. Anything just kind of standing out right now is perfect. Not necessarily. It doesn't have Swift Swim. It has adaptability. That's worth noting. What if Crawdon just kind of owns it with like knockoff Aqua Jet? That might be a good, decent play. Um. Zoomer will probably switch into it. Kinda like Crawled Hunt. But we're just, we're so frail. Like, we need a safe switch in. You with the Yachi Berry actually isn't too bad. I think we gotta bring that. Alright, and these three. I mean, Shininja's good for... Nothing so far, actually. Nidoqueen? That's it. What are we going to put the port gun to? Thunder. Ice Beam, Foul Play, Teleport. Navy Belt. I see Bulby's pretty good for you. You know what? Sure. We'll bring you Bulby. Let's 
Let's do rare candies on Bulby. Aqua Ring, no. Hydro Pump. Ah. Ion Deluge, what does that do? No, I don't want that. Oh, Parabolic Charge? Yeah, let's grab that instead of uh, Discharge, I guess. Charge, no. Alright, well, that'll be good into the Porygon. Scald, flip turn, little wave. Um, yeah, this is fine, right? No, let's give it your impulse instead of Thunder Wave. And then do you have an item? Rindu? I guess we'll switch that for something else. We'll give you a Citrus Berry, just because we don't really know what else to give you. That's fine. Alright, and then I think that's good, except maybe we... I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out Belt and we're gonna pop in some Relax just because I mean this guy's just a very consistent all-rounder. Um I think it's better just in an emergency. I know that's weird reasoning, but I think we'll be fine here. Alright, so let's do it. Oh wow, we really risk battling those guys. Um yeah, let's be more careful when we're going through here. But yeah, this is fine. I think we're okay. This should be not too bad. We have Lapras up front. Yeah, good. Alright. For Keeper Jacob. Cramorant. And then we got boat. So this can't go for the surf. It's probably gonna go for a hurricane or something. We're just gonna thunderbolt. No confusion, please. Nice, perfect. Thunderbolt comes out. I should take it down one health. All right, it's not one health, but it's at least within range of ice shard. Shard. Nice. Ask a Legion. Alright, so. Probably not gonna go for the water move. I think maybe we just Thunderbolt. Shadow Ball. We're sassy, so we should survive. Oh wow, easy. Alright, Thunderbolt time. If this does big damage, this will put us in a really good spot. Weakness policy, I forgot about that. Oh no. I just ignored the weakness policy. Alright, well, I guess what we do... We'll go Titan into the Shadow Ball. Alright, so now it's gonna go for a water move, probably. So we'll go straight to Shroom. Because it's not gonna go for Shadow Ball, it's not gonna go for Ice Beam because we have Thick Bat. So then we go into Shroom because we have the Yachi Berry. And we have Dry Skin. We don't have dry skin, we have effects for. Oh no. And we didn't level you up. Oh no, this is just bad all around. I goofed hard here without having dry skin. Alright, um, the Sidui is probably gonna go for Hurricane. This is bad. Good boy. We should just eat this up. 
sudden kind of a lot. Flare Blitz. Spirit Shackle. That's probably gonna hurt. Can't escape. Flare Blitz. Alright, nice. That's exactly what we need a good boy to do. The good news about Rascal Legion switching out is it doesn't have its weakness policy anymore. So we might be okay, actually. I think we could boat. We have Water Absorb. Shadow Ball. Unfortunate. Alright. Um, I think we can maybe get some health back with some pivoting. It's always gonna go for Shadow Ball, I think. So I guess what we do is we can go into Snorlax. Who just gets Shadow Balled, but we're immune. And then we can go into Lapras again. Right, and this should be a water move. Oh, we should get some health back, I hope. Hydro Pump, good. And it, it missed? We have Water Absorb, how <laughs> did it miss? I don't understand. Hang on, wait, what the hell? We have Water Absorb. That was Hydro Pump. What am I missing? Guess we go Titan? Into the Shadow Ball again, we try again. I'm so confused. If this doesn't go for the water move, I'm gonna be so mad. Hydro Pump, Water Absorb. Yeah, what? I didn't miss that time? That's ridiculous. Alright, Thunderbolt should kill. This thing's so spooky. Let's get the Spadef drop every single time, too. Okay, right, just, just take it out, please. Oh no. Actually, wait, this is fine, we got Ice Shard. Actually, kind of better, because we get more lefties. Nice. Alright, yeah, that works. Nido Queen. Alright, so this is just Shedinja. I just want to make sure this doesn't have, like, Rocky Helmet. Yeah, Life Orb, Sheer Force. But yeah, I can't touch Shedinja, so we're just gonna go into Husk. And that's a wrap. Oh man. What a crazy battle. I feel so counterintuitive going to Leech Life on Husk. Because, I mean, we don't need the health drain. That's all it does. Alright, let's sort of sense ones. And then this can't even hit this. So we're just, we're just fine now. Next battle is gonna be scary though, because that guy's got the surfing Pikachu. Um, but I think we're okay if we just use Lapras. This is one of the times where it's good that it's a dragon type, because we uh, we're neutral to the thunders that it's gonna use, so that's good. It's still thunder though, so we gotta be careful. Anyway, we did it. Alright, so that's just the surfing Pikachu thing. Is it a double battle? Can I see down there? No, I can't. Oh, let's get our encounter. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I think I remember saying the day ones were better. Alright, Altaria... Knight. Alright, that's like the worst thing we could have got, but I mean, it's alright. It is raining, so I mean, maybe we can use this guy with thunder or something for this route, at least. Oh no. 
Thunderbolt. This kills me, I'm gonna be really sad. It won't because we're dragon, but. Alright, uh, I guess we Ice Shard. I think Boat's really the only thing that can hit this and not take it out entirely. I can't believe we forgot to, to do dry skin on Parasect again. Yes, we, we did effect spore for Sabrina because we didn't want the Porygon 2 to. Oh man. This guy's Zap Cannon? That's kind of spooky too. Alright. Ultra Ball. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting we haven't got this yet, but I mean, it's not too bad. I think about not horrible. Electric Bug is really unique. It might be the only one. Dig? Interesting. I wonder if I can throw a ball while it's digging. Yeah, I guess I can't. Um, I'm sure, sure. Paralyzed. It's fine, I guess. Let's try to catch this guy. Digs again. It would be nice to have a bug deck other than Parasect. And something with Levitate is always good. Oh, well, I guess we have Shininja as a bug deck, but... That thing's just, like, in a league of its own. Anyway, while we try to catch this, I guess we can look at the next trainer's team. They have... Scary stuff. Um, Pikachu surfing. It's kind of spooky. Yeah, we'll name you... I'm gonna name you Rail, because you look like a rail gun. This is not a double battle. Alright, so I think the doc thinks it's a double battle, which is interesting. Um, but before we do anything, right, let's, uh... Let's do this. Alright, we're just gonna... Just because I'm mad at myself, and then we're gonna ability pill that guy too. Alright, annoying, but I had to be done. We're gonna run all the way back. I did not realize how long of a journey this was. Yikes. Alright. It's probably a long episode. Alright, we are back in Celadon. Forgot the name of this town for a minute. And uh, we have our rail difficult. Bug electric. And as dig, zap cannon, thunderbolt, agility. It's 50 accuracy, that's horrible. Alright, so. First up. Surfing Pikachu. It's got bouncy bubble, thunder, fake out, and electro web. Um, it's got lightning rod too. Interesting. Um, so, let's see, what can we do to this? We have... I'm kind of almost thinking... Well, I was thinking Bulby until I saw it as Fake Out. 
Oh, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. Shininja. Toy. Alright, nothing can hit this. Yeah, Shininja. Just easy answer there. Um. Or I'm gonna just pivot between Lapras and Bulby. Yeah, alright, easy peasy there. Cool. Alright, next up we got Milotic, Bouncy Bubble, Ice Beam, Miracle, and Bowergrass. Once again, Shit Ninja. I can't really, it just can't hit it. Um, Bouncy Bubble, Water. Yeah, I mean Miracle, but we don't have any special moves on Shit Ninja. So, yeah, alright, easy. Uh, Gudra Hisui. Surf, Dragon Pulse, Flash Game, Thunder, Shit Ninja. Alright. Lapras, Boom Burst, Dragon Pulse, oh. Alright, the only thing that can hit Shit Ninja is Dragonite's Hurricane. So, I mean, realistically, we can just take out Dragonite with Lapras. Uh, Titan switches into Hurricane pretty well. Good Boy has a Cell Rock. I think, honestly, this is fine. We can just leave the team as it is. I wish I didn't come all the way back here. I realized Shit Ninja was just as insane as it is. Alright, so, yeah, I guess we're just gonna... We're just gonna run it back. Alright, well, that's crazy. Um, I'm hoping the doc's just not wrong. Alright, so... Oh, this guy. This is a double battle? Oh my god. Wait, why? Actually, this is a good lead, though. Because nothing can hit Shininja, so we can... I guess Leech Life, the Pikachu. And then Pikachu's got Lightning Rod, otherwise I'd just go for... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess this is fine. We can just... What is he gonna try to do? This is terrifying, actually. I didn't realize it was a double battle. Um... Man. So, it's got Fake Out, so, I mean... I fully expect Bulby to just get Fake Outed. Why didn't we heal? What the? What? Alright, we're gonna go Titan. On the fake out. Lapras. Weird choice. Wait. Why would it go into Lapras? I don't understand. Alright, this is odd. Right, Slappers has Boom Burst. Oh, it's Mega Lapras. So, Boom Burst, Dragon Pulse, Slender, Freeze Dry. Um, I think we just... Leech Life Lapras again. But we will switch Titan into our own Lapras. Because... I'm expecting that Boom Burst. Um... Yeah, I think that's fine. What do we see over there? Gudra. Alright, that's fine. Mega Ring. Shininja just can't get hurt here unless the Dragonite comes out. Boom Burst. So that should be water. Um, so I think that only hits Gudra, which is funny. Yeah, we just soak that up. Full health. We are paralyzed from earlier because I forgot, like a dummy. Mega Lapras is looking real cool too. Alright. So, <laughs> Gudra Hasui, Surf, Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Thunder. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna Leech Life the Lapras. That should take it out. We're gonna switch boat into something else. Um, I'm expecting a Thunder out of the. 
Let's do both. Let's go Bulby. Yeah, I think doing damage with Husk and just kind of pivoting around is kind of a really good play. Dragon Pulse into Bulby, that's okay. I'll bring a Leech Life to Pikachu. Ooh, let's go. Focus Ash? Alright, that's fine. So what we can do is we can Shadow Sneak into Pikachu. Oh wait, we still take the fake out. Yeah, we'll Shadow Sneak Pikachu anyway. Then we're just gonna go... Who's out, Bulby? I guess we'll go Boat. Um, actually no, that's a bad idea. No, it's not a bad idea. Uh, no, we're going Titan. Boat's too useful later. Oh, what a read. Alright, well, I switched for the fake out. Now that there's no fake out, I kind of feel silly, but. That's okay. Dragon Balls into. Alright, so I'm glad we didn't go loud Let's see, uh, Gudra doesn't really do much to Snorlax. Melotic. Doesn't really do much to Snorlax either. It's got that bouncy bubble thing. Let's sword stance with Husk Rover do to do that, and then we'll return on the Militic. Yeah. I don't even think it has the Dragonite. I'm seeing four Pokemon. Bouncy Bubble and Snorlax. That's okay. I kind of expected that. Alright. Husky Sword Stance, good. Titan's gonna use return on Melotic. Right, that's a lot of damage, that's good. We break its fairy. Okay. So I'm expecting fake out on Pikachu into Titan. I'm gonna Shadow Sneak to Pikachu, and I'm gonna switch Titan to uh probably Shrooms actually. Yeah, we'll go Shrooms. Just to mix it up a little bit. We have dry skin now. I double checked. Take out, it's fine. We don't care. Shadow Sneak should take out Pikachu. Which is really good. So now that side can't switch. That's a bubble. Into shrooms. We get all of our health back. And we're just chilling now. Shadinj is really, really great. Honestly, I think we would have thrown by not knowing this was a double battle if it wasn't for Shedinja. So let's uh let's leech life. Melodic and then we'll let's protect with shrooms. I forgot I had protect. Alright Lapras should just die. Good. Alright, um, let's leech life, you, and we're gonna sappy seed Gudra. Ice Beam comes out, we have Yachi, so we should be totally fine. Oh, Frostbite, Dragon Pulse, we should live that too. We're bulky. Ooh, that did more than I wished it did. Leech Life just takes out Melotic. Sword Stance just really helped us out. Sappy Seed. It's Gudra. Which is really huge because now we have the Leech Seed going. Great Rain still falling. Dry Skin. Nice. Leech Seed. Beautiful. Alright, and we take frostbite damage, but we're healing more than we're taking. So I think what we do now is we can just shadow sneak and protect. This is just free damage. This can't hit Shininja, and then we'll get the protect. We're just soaking up health. It said gooey the whole time. Hmm. Alright, I think we just win from Leech Seed now. And if not, we win from Shadow Sneak, so this is fine. 
Shit Ninja is absolutely insane. Frostbite, who cares? Alright, we did it. Unexpected double battle, but uh, we did it. That exp oh, you know what? That's why the dock looks like this. Alright, so, next up, Ace Trainer Wilton. This is Dragapult with Focus Ash as his first mon. That's frightening. So, what we're gonna do... I mean, do we just go boat? Right, and we could just Ice Beam... Ice Shard? I mean, that seems to be the play of boat. I think that's what we'll do. It's got Thunder, but I mean, we're fine. Oh wait, it's got Draco Meteor. Maybe we don't do that. Yeah, we might need a strategy for this Dragon Bolt. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's run it back. We could probably do it with Azumarill. But instead of uh, Ice Beam Aqua Jet, or Ice Beam Ice Shard, it'll just be Play Rough Aqua Jet. So let's do that. That way we don't have to worry about the Draco Meteor. This guy entirely. I don't even think that guy's meant to be a difficult battle. I just don't want to do it. Okay, we are gonna go into here, the Pokemon Center. If I can hit the door. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna grab a zoom roll. For sure, right? Because this will. That's our Dragon Ball counter. We're just gonna lead with you. A player of Aqua Jet. It should be fine. Alright, so then there's a Kabutops and Omastar. They both have Swift Swim. Pincer with the Pincerite and a Rotomosh. That's terrifying. Alright, so. Uh, Kabutops and Omastar. They both have rock moves, so I really don't want to bring Parasect, but Parasect would have been good otherwise. Um, hmm, Greg gets smoked too. Let's see. Kingler might be nice. No, Kingler's not nice. Um. Alright, this is interesting. I wish we had, like, Grassy Glide. Yeah, it's rock moves, so we can't go Shininja. Lapras, maybe? And Thunderbolt is not a bad play. Um, Yan Shao might be decent here, because we can fake out. Um, but the Omastar wants to set up Shell Smash, that's spooky. Empoleon. You know what? Empoleon might actually be really nice. Because Empoleon has access to... Yeah, this is what we're doing. Because Empoleon has access to Grass Knot, which is quite effective. Neither of these guys have a Rindu. So we're going to go into our T... No, it's not even a TM. We just get that. Napoleon, move we learn. Grass Knot, where are you? There you are. Okay, we'll get rid of Ice Beam for now. So yeah, Grass Knot, and then let's give it... I might give you Aqua Jet too. Let's set Flash Cannon. Let's change your nature. He's quiet, so we're not gonna outspeed anything in the rain. Alright, nice. Alright, and Polyon's good here. Maybe that. Cool, alright, so Polyon should be good for Omasar and Kabutops. And then. 
pincer and rotom wash. Who wants to deal with that? Uh, <clears throat> I think good boy takes up pincer pretty good. I might calc just to see if it can take it out with one Excel rock. I mean, bug flying after it mega evolves. 65. Alright, Excel rock has a chance to one shot. That's kind of not what I wanted to see, because it can take me out with close combat. I think maybe we roll it. I don't know. It's worth. I think it's worth bringing, good boy. Man, I really wish we had choice band. Um. So then that leaves. Should Ninja takes out Rotom Wash. I guess Pinsir. I don't think we bring Stormlax to this one. Pinsir can be taken out by the Ice Shard on Lapras. Like Excel Rock on Good Boy. Pinsir is quick attack, but like we can take both with either. Um Is there anything else that'd be pretty good? It's got Aerialate, so those normal moves are flying moves. I was gonna maybe bring Jellicent. I think that's kind of a good option. Yeah, I think I think I'll just bring the Jellicent. And we'll call her good. Yeah, nothing else really resists flying, so except for you. No, not worth it. Alright, that's the team. Let's see. Go out items. Yeah. Let's just make sure they're good ones. Um, citrus, citrus, charcoal, silver. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we'll run it back. And then I think this is the last battle for Fuchsia. So that should be really good. As far as the docks concerned, like we, we might not even have to fight the Rotom. I brought Shinji for nothing, but we'll see. All right, so what's our lead? Is it Pika Blue? Oh, it is. Yeah, cause he's got Dragapult. It's spooky. All right, let's do it. This guy's got one, two, three, four, and the dock says he has five. So I think I brought the Shinji for no reason. That's really unfortunate. I pick a blue. It's raining. We're gonna go for the player of Thunder. Did you have this the whole time? Yeah, you did. I just can't read. This is still okay. We didn't get paralyzed. I just missed this. I guess the good news is it probably sees Thunder as a good option, so it's gonna stay in and just eat an Aqua Jet and die. Good. Cursed body. Honestly, that's okay. Alright, what's coming out? We see the Kabutops? Interesting. Waterfall, Stone Axe, Sacred Sword. Aqua Jet. I don't think he can kill me. I might just go Aqua Tail. Stone Axe. I probably should have saw that coming. Oh, I wish we could Aqua Jet. Oh, wait. This doesn't work like it should. It doesn't set up stealth rocks. Oh, wait. We can Aqua Jet. Yes, let's go. Yeah, so in like Scarlet and Violet and stuff, Stone Axe just sets up Stealth Rocks. 
Um, this just has me take damage every turn. Which sounds bad, but that's actually way better that we're not. Alright, so Peekaboo is out. This pincer is probably going to go for not close combat. Do I roll it with good boy? I think I do. Get the hearts down and stuff. I think we're fine. My Spencer's jolly. It's more likely than not that we can just kill that one shot. Double edge. Oh wait, it's gonna take recoil and then we're chilling. Right? Yeah. All right, we're fine. That little recoil damage guarantees to kill. That's good. Excel rock. Get pooped on, idiot. Nice. Arcanine's so good. Alright, what are we seeing now? Omastar. Alright, so this is, I think, always Empoleon. Um, let's see. We got Shell Smash, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Power Gem. I'm expecting Shell Smash, but honestly, there's a chance that this just goes straight for a Hydro Pump. But either way, we're going Mumble. Power gem. Oh wow, that's not what I expected at all. That's honestly kind of good for us. We no crit. Um, because yeah, now we're kind of in a good place to just go for grass knot. Hydro pump will do good damage, but not like a ton. I'm surprised it's not shell smashing grass knot. Super nice, just takes it out. Beautiful. And we beat Wilton. Nice. And I think that puts us in Fuchsia. Yeah, we did it. Alright. So, that was actually insane. The road to Fuchsia. <laughs> tough. Really tough. But we are here. Oh, we can heal up. This is amazing, actually, that we're here in Fuchsia. Uh, we really only lost Mons to that back to back to back, which was really hard, but we did it. So, um, I'm going to end the episode here. This has been really long, really long cycling road. We're going to do Koga next time. I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.